It's another edition of Nigeria Superfans Forum. And I welcome you. My name is Olua Femi Ashalu. And today on the show, of course, what else? We will be looking at uh, the preparation for the Qatar 2022 World Cup playoff between the Super Eagles of Nigeria and the Black Stars of Ghana. And today on the show, we'll be focusing on the choice of venue. I'm, I'm talking about the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Now, remember that uh, the uh, Nigeria Football Federation has come out to say that the Eagles uh, will be playing the second leg of that tie at the Moshud Abiola National Stadium in Abuja. I remember that facility was just uh, recently been renovated uh, by Dangote Group of Companies. So that is what we'll be looking at today. Is it the right choice? Uh, you know, bearing in mind that um, for the past couple of years, Lagos has been the home uh, of the national team. So that is what we'll be looking at today on the show. And I have with me in the studio uh, our own very Paul the Octopus, uh, the, divi the diviner, Kaido Ogundari. Kaido Ogundari. <laughs> one, one day, one day you wake up and run out of names to be. <laughs> I'm very sure. Paul the Octopus is still very much popular in world football. He's still very much popular in the world of football. One day you, you run out of names to give me. But anyway, it's always a pleasure being here. Okay. Thanks for having me. Okay, so. Let's go together on this uh, journey as we take you through our discussion today regarding the choice of venue uh, for the second leg of that crucial game uh, between the Super Eagles of Nigeria and Ghana. For you, do you think the Abuja National Stadium is the right place? Perhaps some people are saying it should have been the uh, Goswil Akwabio Stadium in New York. Some people have said, well, okay, since Lagos uh, came under a calf ban, then Abuja is the right place. But we'll be looking at that when we return from this break. Please stay with us. Welcome back, and it's still Nigeria Super Fans Forum. Uh, Kayode, this gets our attention today on the show. Remember that we've continued the build up to uh, that crucial game between the Super Eagles of Nigeria and Ghana. Now, venue has been the issue. You know, in football, you have to take your opponent to your fortress, you know, a place where you know you will always get the backing of your fans and where you know you have good, good pitches. But let's look at um, the choice of the National Moshud National Stadium in Abuja. Um, for you, I, I know we've had the discussion before, but for you, is it the right choice, uh, the right choice by the NFA? You know, <laughs> uh, 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 bearing in mind that Lagos, uh, the, uh, I, beg, I beg your pardon, the Tessin Balogun Stadium has come under the armor of the uh, Confederation of African Football. What do you think? Do you think it should have been perhaps with you? Um, <clears throat> seriously, I, as much as it would have been easier to be in Lagos, watch the game in Lagos, and just do your job, get out of the stadium. Uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a fan, I am always not uh, happy when we, when we play games in Lagos, you understand, because of the, of, the, of the stress involved, the overzealousness of the security officials, <laughs> everything. They're just doing their they, job. No, 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 they are not. But in doing their job, they imperil my own job. They do not allow me to do my own job as mm. a journalist. Mm. You go to the stadium, you are faced with all sorts of obstacles when you are just going about your legitimate uh, duty. So, uh, for me, Lagos, the days when Lagos used to be the fortress, I think as long Gone. Yeah, you actually took that out of my yeah, mind because I was are, going to come to uh, that. We are no long, uh, Lagos is no longer the fortress it, it used to be in those days. I've, I've been privileged to see the Super Eagles play at practically every stadium they've played in Nigeria. Ujo, Calabar, Port Harcourt, uh, Kaduna, everywhere I've seen them play. And save for this, for, for, for the, the, if you are talking about, you, there are different metrics that you use in measuring which is the best stadium. Mm -hmm. You are talking about fans' engagement, mm -hmm. there won't be any other better place than either Kano or Kaduna. Those two places are sure. <laughs> that, that image about Kano still came to my mind, where people had to, where people had to yes, endanger yes, their yes, lives yes, just yes, to watch the display. There are no better places than Kano or, 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 or this. Or or anywhere in the north for that matter. You, if you watch the MPFL, you see images from Gombe United. Uh, they're, they're I saw last, this recent game. You, you massive. See, the support massive, was massive. The, 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 
massive. You barely believe it. It is it's an MPFL. Yeah. So that comes to like those who say people do not watch the MPFL. No, people do watch. It's you that you are still stuck in the past that don't watch the MPFL. <laughs> So having said that, the Uyo Stadium that you talk about, as beautiful as that complex is, I, I joked around with friends, especially during the last uh, World Cup qualifier, the final series in 2017, when we were uh, watching, following the Super Eagles in the Euro. At the stadium, I tell them, I said, this stadium was built without the journalists in mind. Because the press tribune is just like an afterthought. Then the, the match, uh, the, uh, the, what do you call it, uh, where uh, post match conferences are held, it's just like you, you come out of the stadium, out of the press tribune, you go onto the pitch, you go out of the stadium, then you now come back, you do 360 degrees before you get to the, to, to wherever the match, comp- uh, the conference is mm-hmm. holding. So for me, that also shows that that stadium was not purpose built. The Moshe Abiola Stadium has everything. Mm-hmm. It is but 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 different. sorry, but the Super Eagles have been playing matches at uh, uh, the the Sim National Stadium, the yeah, Sim Balogun Stadium. We'll get to that. Let me. So the Abiola Stadium, the Moshe Abiola Stadium in uh, in Abuja has everything. I was privileged to be at the open, the commissioning of that stadium in two thousand and three. Yeah, I tell you that we have not used. So you saw Brazil Spankos, right? No, that wasn't the, the opening. Oh, game. okay. That was the first international game. The opening game was between Three S and Sunshine. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm talking about first international. Yeah, I, first I international that, game. Nigeria Brazil three zero. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, my what I'm saying is that stadium is purpose built. We have not utilized like ten. To 15, more than 10 to 15 percent of the facilities at that stadium. Wow, that stadium has a bank, it has a post office, it has everything that a modern stadium should have, but it lacked the most critical infrastructure the fans. Mm. Because that stadium was not built with the fans in mind. Let me tell you something the day of the commissioning, I, I left the stadium and I didn't get home until around 2 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, hmm. fine, they finished late around 9 9 30 10. But I did not get home. After the 3SC game or the Brazil game? The, no, the 3SC game. Yeah. The Brazil game came earlier than that. Yeah. It wasn't the, the, because of the activities lined up for the commission. What, okay. So, he, in fact, the president of Asunjo did not come in time. So, they had to delay the, the, ma- the, the, match. the match. So, there were all these other attractions. Uh, the uh, Shino Peters, the late Brenda Fashi from South Africa, Plantation Boys, all of them were at the stadium. A very colorful ceremony. Mm-hmm. But, hey, for the fans, getting home at 2 a.m. at midnight. Especially considering the security situation in Nigeria, fine things have improved. The game will not be played at that late. Or nine, yeah, but the fact still means that the position, the, the, the location of that stadium, makes it very, very impossible for people from different areas to get there and live at the same time. Imagine. If I was you going to actually even answer because yeah, of the location of that stadium. The location of the stadium, particularly those who live in the aspect of aspect of Abuja yeah. right if now. If you're coming from Sileja, you're coming from Mianya, you're coming from. Kubwa, for example, yeah. you're coming from Buhari, for, uh, for example, you're mm-hmm. coming from Puche, all of these places, getting to the stadium is always a problem. And do, the majority of the fans that will make the stadium tick, that will make the support base of the Super mm-hmm. Eagles, are ordinary Nigerians like you and I. Who those who live majorly in the Aske. Yes, those who do, may not have a major means of getting back home, so they have to wait at the bus stop and everything. So, waiting at the bus stop at Night ten in the night is not advisable. So people would rather they stay would rather stay at home and watch. So for me, I, I think it's it's a it's a double jeopardy for Nigeria taking that such a very, very important game to Abuja when you know that there are other other stadiums stadia that you could have used. Hmm. Okay, we still have so much to discuss as far as this is concerned. Uh, it seems that uh, Africa has an issue with uh, stadium being ready for games, particularly We'll be back to talk about what also happened to the Babaya Stadium that Ghana wanted to initially host the Super Eagles of Nigeria. We'll be back. Please stay with us. Welcome back, and it's still Nigeria Super Fans Forum. Kyle and I are still uh, talking about uh, the choice of the Moshud Abiola National Stadium, if it is the right choice uh, for the Super Eagles, as far as the second leg of uh, the Qatar 2022 playoff with Ghana uh, is concerned. Kyle, they, you know that what you've been saying that um, the Super Eagles will be disadvantaged going yeah. to the Abiola yeah. National Stadium because I mean, fans might decide not to go to the stadium, they rather prefer to just to stay at home and watch. Because of the convenience. Then don't forget that 
after, this game will make it like uh, 11 years since we last played in Abuja. Exactly. 11 years. The last time we played there was against Guinea in, a, in an African co- co- African qualifier. African qualifier. Yeah. We played 2 2. Yeah. And we eventually didn't make it to, to the, the AFCON. <laughs> so for me. Uh, bad memories. Bad memories. We played a game against Tunisia there that we had a 2 2. Uh, we also played 2 2 against Tunisia. All these are. Uh, we should be. Uh, I'm not being superstitious now, Femi. I'm just trying to bring the facts. Of course. Uh, uh, so yeah. I think we could have done better, especially since we have other. Uh, look, uh, venues where we could have played this game. We are blessed with top-notch facilities all over, all over. Yeah. Okay, you know. but remember the last time we played in Kano, we came under FIFA armor. But l- let's forget that now. Let's yeah. look at Lagos. I spoke with a top official of the Lagos State Sports Commission. You know, I asked about um, the situation surrounding the Teslim Balogun Stadium and why it came under calf armor, and he said. He insinuated that it was just politics, that, mm-hmm. he, that, he, that, he, politics. He, that he does not understand what actually it's happened politics. because that stadium had been hosting matches. It hosted the Super Eagles World Cup qualifier. Exactly. So, where did the bank exactly. come from? Femi, it is part of the dirty politics that, we, that, that is going on in Nigerian football. But should we still be doing that at the we detriment are... of a national interest? See, what day? is and what ought to be at the The people doing it, what do they stand to gain? Mm-hmm. If you have to take the game from Lagos. Mm, they, they stand to game. It's we have they, they are they are ruled and ruined by money. It's more. It's, the incentive is is how to make a quick buck. That's what that's what. It, it's so taking the game to Abuja will will, yes. will bring more bucks for them. We took a game to Kano in two thousand and five, and that was why we did no. Go for two thousand six World Cup. These things have been done. They are entrenched in Nigerian football, in Nigerian sports generally. To be honest, to be fair, so these things happen. We've seen it happen over and over again. But Kyle, let's look at it. If let's assume that um, the stadium, the facility didn't come under that uh, calf ban, yes. do you think the Super Eagle will have received that massive support? Remember that even during the World Cup qualifier, the the performance wasn't that very yes. good, yes. and there were no reactions from the fans. Yes. And a former Super Eagle player that I spoke with was saying that. There's something about football dying in Lagos, particularly among the fans. He said if it were back in their days, that they would not leave the stadium until 2 a.m. because of that <laughs> awful performance. So was, is there any guarantee that if that match was going to take place in Lagos, there will still be massive support like we used to yeah, see back in will. the days? And I will tell you this. During the qualifying, uh, the, uh, the, for the last stage, the games that we played in Lagos, because of the COVID restrictions, we couldn't have a, a full house. But the allocations were taken up fully. Yes, sir. The about the issue of fans' enthusiasm now is because nowadays fans now have other options. Do you understand? Mm. If Nigeria not do well, <coughs> Chelsea will do well. <laughs> uh, Arsenal will give me joy. Mm. Barcelona will give me happiness. So now fans have more options. But we are still to blame for that. We can't blame other other countries for no, developing their I'm, football to that I'm level. Not, I, no, I'm just I'm, saying. I'm, I'm just I'm saying. saying yeah, I'm, I'm also just saying. <laughs> we can't blame. They can't blame England for for developing their football no, no, I'm, at their own detriment. No, okay. Not. Well, I'm just saying this. Fans have options now. They can decide. You know what? Let me find my happiness elsewhere. Unlike before that, everything revolves around the Super Eagles. In a year, if the Super Eagles don't play, we are like. Okay, That's spot me, on. Let me share something. That's spot on. Growing up, before any any survival game, when I was, I'm still growing up anyway. <laughs> back in the day, <laughs> yeah, now I would, not, you're now growing now. I would quickly eat before the game because, regardless of the outcome of the game, I will not be able to eat afterwards. It's either we win <laughs> and I'm too happy to eat, or we lose and, I, and I'm too sad to eat. So who would you do that for right now? Any team? Not even the Super Eagles? Nobody. Not even a Nobody. club? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you can see that the passion is actually dying. Nobody. The passion is actually they dying. The passion is actually they dying. Now. But some, some grown adults will still do it. Well, it's possible. We are different people. <laughs> okay, but let's look, let's look at Ghana now. <laughs> Calf also turned down uh, Ghana's request to play at the Babayara Sports Stadium yeah. because that stadium is still under renovation. And Calf said, come on, you're going to use this facility for your Independence Day celebration on March 6th. Yeah. And we can't just fix um, an impromptu assessment visit to that facility. But what is it with Africa and the, the inability to Men- put facility... To main- no, we, we have facilities in Africa. It is the maintenance that is, that is a problem for me. You know, so why is that a, an issue for us? It is an issue. Because even the private, the private uh, company that yeah. renovated the Abuja National Stadium had to hand it over 
to a maintenance yes, organization so that that facility can would not degenerate it's again. Easier to, it's easier to get more money when things have run down than to keep the maintenance up. This same thing happened to Nigeria. Nigeria fixed, Had you been throwing stones on No, it? Nigeria fixed today. the game. I think the under 17 qualifiers against Congo or, or one other country like that for March 9 or something. The CAF said, no, you cannot play any game on that pitch until after the World Cup qualifiers. Because they know that if we, have, if we play there, whatever happens to the stadium, it will not be we'll, playable. We'll, 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 we'll just leave it until uh, we, we have to play. I, there was a game, I'm not going to mention the stadium. The Super Eagles played the game that the night before the game, workmen were on the pitch working on it until around 12 midnight. I was at the stadium around 10. I saw them the way they were set up. I know these guys are not going anywhere because they weren't halfway through hmm. by the time I was leaving at 10. And the game was going to take place the, the following day. The following day. I think I wrote, I wrote about it. That was in, okay. If I mentioned the year, <laughs> that, <laughs> let's just say it's about the maintenance culture that we lack. We should we cannot put facilities in place and not maintain them. It's criminal. We should criminalize this criminal lack of maintenance. Hmm. So in other words, in other in other words, we have driven ourselves to a point of being disadvantaged right now. Yes, everybody, Ghana, Nigeria, we are all we are all guilty, except probably the North Africans. Hmm. They, I think South Africans, they, uh, South Africa, yeah. I think they, they also try to yes, leave the talk now. Yeah, they do. Hmm. So we have driven ourselves to this very, <laughs> to this very, very sad situation because at this point we need uh, the support, all the support that we can get. Remember, we are playing against Ghana. When we take on Ghana, it's usually a different ball game. So apart from the fact that we share the same, uh, we are in the same West African uh, subcontinent with Ghana, we are also, <laughs> we are also soldiers of the same struggle because they have to take that game to Cape Coast. It won't be taking place. Uh, in Kumasi anymore. Kyle Day, once again, thanks for always coming through on the it's show and giving us a wonderful insight. Anyway, you chew some stones <laughs> on the show today. I hope it won't break any glass uh, house. I hope so. <laughs> this is where we'll be drawing the curtain on this edition of Nigeria Super Fans Forum. Until we come here, we remember to watch this place uh, for uh, calm down, continuous calm down to that, uh, our build up brother to that game. Uh, regarding uh, the World Cup qualifier. And also, please subscribe to our YouTube, our YouTube channel so that you can get notice, the first notice, as soon as any video drops on this channel. I remain the Lua Femme Take care of yourself.